What's up, Metalheads? My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at EDC perfection. Um, you know, that's a subjective term to a lot of people because, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? People like different knives. But when I say EDC perfection, I mean a knife that you can carry that will get you through the day. You don't have to worry about anything with it. You're good to go. I don't care where you're at or what you're doing. You're going to be good. Unless you need some big, heavy, hard use. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about EDC pocket knife, right? This one, in my opinion, this is as good as it gets. It really, really is. I'll give you the specs real quick. We'll do the size and weight. And then we'll talk about the materials. Because that's what makes this knife so special. And uh, makes it, you know, EDC perfection, in my opinion. Overall length 6.94 inches, blade length 2.98 inches, blade thickness is 90 thousandths, and the weight is 3 ounces. Let's do a few size comparisons real quick. Another 90 thousandths blade, the Benchmade Bug Out, and another 90 thousandths blade, the Asher Spiro. A little bit thinner than the Asher Spiro, probably about a millimeter or two. Same as the Bug Out, so a little bit thinner than both those knives. Uh, how about the Urban EDC F5.5? And let's go ahead and do the uh, Spyderco Sage 5. We'll go ahead and do a, a pair of three also. And how about a Benchmade 940? So a little bit shorter than the pair of three quite a bit shorter than the 940. Um, do a couple more here. We always do a penguin. So we'll do the QSP penguin. Oh, almost identical in length to a penguin, although thinner, thinner than a penguin. And since I have it here and it's so damn good to look at, the EMP EDC Relative. What a beautiful knife, man. Just a beautiful knife. So that should give you uh, you guys a good idea on the size of the knife. Um, the ergos on this knife are fantastic. It's a smaller knife, but even back here in the normal grip, four fingers, medium-sized hand, I got room to spare. But right here is where it's really at. That forward finger choil, you got a little jimping up here that's done well, just locks you in, locks you in. Um, right hand, left hand tip up carry only on the pocket clip, G10 scales. All right, let's talk about the materials real quick. First off, on the pivot, you got phosphorus bronze washers. Don't have to worry about corrosion. Um, zoom you back out a little bit. Uh, on the thumb studs, they're made of titanium. The uh, pocket clip is made of stainless, uh, marine grade stainless steel. The liners are made of LC200N. If you're familiar with Spider Coast Salt Series, that's what they make a lot of their blades out of, LC200N, because it's so it won't rust. And the blade is Vanax Super Clean, which won't rust. I mean, it's made to be around salt. And it also has... Uh, it holds its edge for a very long time. And with this 90,000 blade stock, full flat grind, you talk about a slicer. I mean, it's it's fantastic. It really is. Excellent ergos. The detent, ceramic ball detent. The detent is perfect. It's perfection. I, I can't fell it. I'm pressing as lightly as I can. And when that, the blade caught me on the way out, I rubbed it because I was pressing so lightly. Yeah. That's as lightly as I can press. Reverse flick is just as good. Great access to the thumb studs. As you can see here, they cut chamfered the scale down a little bit there on both sides, give you access to the thumb studs. And on this side, they've also brought the scale down a little bit, give you access to the lock bar. Excellent access. And this jipping they've done on here is done perfectly. Uh, it's sharp enough to where you get plenty of traction, but it's not uncomfortable. Sometimes that jimping on the lock, liner locks is uh, uncomfortable in your thumb. It's not at all in this one. And it's buttery smooth. Just buttery, buttery smooth action. Classy, glassy smooth. This is not a berry knife, so you're not going to get the you know free, free fall blade action here, but once this knife breaks in, this one is broken in, you know, one shake and it drops, right? Light shake. I mean, if you hold the light bar over, that blade will fall. So they'll be a little stiffer than that out of the box. And after a couple of days of playing with it, it'll, it'll be like that also and have that kind of action. So basically a rust, completely rust proof knife, three ounces, uh, excellent ergos, excellent action, 
excellent slicer, EDC perfection. Uh, for me, anyway, and I would love for someone out there to comment below and tell me something else that's comparable to this that's using these kinds of materials. $250, up by the way, uh, uh, is what these cost new. And if there are other knives, other than other quiet carry knives, uh, I know about the other quiet carry knives, but and the Spider Coast Salt series, but what else is out there? Because, um, in my opinion, this is as good as it gets. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.